Oh, good Lord, have mercy. The unthinkable has happened. Our server is being merged. It's the end of the world as we know it. Hide the women and children. Chaos and pandemonium everywhere. Yeah, not quite. Hi, and welcome to Red Ebony. I am Akayasha. You can call me Aka. So, server mergers. It's one of those things that happens, you know, from time to time in Ebony. And a lot of people get quite anxious about what's going to happen and what's going to become of their server. And at the time of making this video, Ebony had recently released a long list of servers that are to be merged. For some of you, this might be your first merger. For some, maybe you had one a while back, but you don't quite remember. We're going to lay out all the things that you need to know, what to expect from a merger, and talk about some things that you can do to get ready for it. Now, on this long list of mergers, I have to say that my server has been caught in the crosshairs of this thing. And to give you a little history, this is the second merger that we are having. We are originally server 376. We previously got merged with server 386 and became server 3 star 6, as we called it. Now, this time, we're being merged with server 420. The green server, as I like to call them. Why green, you might say? I don't know. Nothing at all comes to mind. We've chatted with a few of them on server 420. Seem like a decent bunch of guys and girls. So, based on my experience of servers, I'm going to lay everything out for you guys. Now, this is usually the part of the video where I have a quick plug for my partners, Paxify. And I tell you how awesome and how great they are and how you should check them out, stuff like that. But this time, I want to do something a bit differently. I actually want to thank all of you that have given Paxify a chance and have started using their services. Feedback I've been getting has been really good. You're enjoying the discounts. Of course, using Paxify and using the code Red Ebony when you're making your purchases helps out the channel a lot. The user base is growing every day and you're enjoying the discounts and getting what you need out of it. So for all of you that are using the service, thank you very much. I hope you continue enjoy using them. For any of you that are not using their service yet, check it out. It's really good. Links and all the stuff you need are down in the description of the video. Okay, so what to expect from your server merge? In all honesty, not a lot changes. You will log into the game as usual. All your stuff is going to be there. For example, as we see in the mail here, NPC subsidies will be pretty much cleared out in the server merge. Some dead keeps will be removed. Okay, all the stuff that you had bookmarked on the map will be gone. Okay, these will all be deleted. And then, of course, your Alliance City will be demolished. All your Alliance stuff is going to be there. All the members are still going to be in the Alliance. R4s, R5s, all of that stuff is still going to be the same. But the buildings your alliance tile, your warehouse, all of those stuff are going to be demolished. So you're going to have to build them again. And as you see in the mail here, it says the alliance donation and stored resources will remain and reappear once the alliance warehouse has been rebuilt. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, there are a few key things that you need to know about server merges. One of the biggest issues that people have when they have a merger is that the ranking that you go with with your prestige okay and you have the various ranks new people are going to be added to this and the scores that they have are going to be taken as they are so you might be merging with a server that has people with higher prestige scores than you have and as you know in all of these slots you have a fixed number of people so if you're in that kind of situation, there's a very good chance that you're going to lose your rank once the server has been merged. The biggest problem with losing your rank is losing a sub city slot. Right now, I have 10 subs. And as you can see here, it says 10 out of 10. 
but if i lose a subsidy slot it's gonna say 10 out of 9. now in my current situation i can drop subs and take subs freely at any point in time but if i lose a subsidy slot it technically means that i'm allowed to only have nine subs so i will not be able to freely drop subs or pick them up as i usually do so when it comes to subs the advice i would give you here is that before your merger happens make sure that you have picked up all the subsidies that you need all right in some situations we have subs that we put on our farms because we can't hold all the subs that we have you need to take all the subs that you need into your main city before the merge happens sometimes we lend out our subs to friends okay if you're in that kind of situation you need to get your subs back before the merger happens otherwise there's a significant chance that you might not be able to get them again now it's possible for you to regain your rank okay but you would have to grind that out you will have to raise your prestige points to the point where it allows you to get into the rank again but we'll have a bit on that a bit later on in the video so like i said that's the biggest issue with subs but that's not the only thing here we have the details for rank okay in my case i am archduke right so this is what i get for archduke if i was to drop down to duke this is what i'm gonna have so we've already said that i'm gonna lose one sub slot but i will also lose some training speed some march speed some healing speed some general capacity in my general list and also some march size so in this situation i'll be losing about 20k from my march size when you put all of those things together yeah that can be a bit annoying especially the march size one because if you have your presets done with your specific march size if you lose march size as a result of losing rank your presets are going to get messed up so the other thing i would say is after the merge if you do end up dropping rank make sure you redo your march presets again because they might be messed up all right now the next thing that i want to talk about which we've already kind of mentioned is that your alliance building is going to have to be rebuilt now one of the big problems that we have during mergers is people fighting for locations on the world map you might have a prime location that is somewhere close to the throne where you are close to the big bosses and things like that a lot of people are fighting for those spaces so you're gonna have to make sure that one of the leaders on your server is around early enough when the merge happens so that they can build your alliance city in a decent spot that's something that you guys are going to have to coordinate with and sort out now the other thing that i recommend you do when you're facing a server merge is to try to contact people from the server you're merging with okay it's important to get in touch with them so that you can figure out things like like what kind of server they run whether they're nap whether they're bubble or burn whether they're a ke server you know all those kind of things in addition to that you also have to discuss what kind of throne rotation you're gonna have okay different servers operate in different ways some servers rotate throne by alliances some by svs scores whatever it is you guys have to make an agreement on that those are the two big things that i think you need to agree on but there are other things like how you guys participate in svs how you deal with with paid subs okay subs that people have won in the historic event are they free for everybody to take whenever they want or do you guys allow people to fight for them you can also discuss what your rules are going to be regarding monsters are you guys allowed to use speed ups for monsters are you allowed to do early launch you know all those kind of things are there even any rules for killing monsters so there's a lot of stuff that you can discuss but nap and throne are the two main things that you need to get sorted out then of course you want to get a bit of the backstory on the servers all right are there any crazies lurking around any rogues people that are kos 
people you should avoid, you know, all that kind of stuff. But maybe you can do that on a bit of a hush-hush level, you know? Anyway, the other thing that happens when you have a merge is, is you have alliances coming together and joining to form a bigger alliance. If that's something that your alliance is going to be considering, the things you need to pay attention to here are headhunting. It happens a lot where you have a merger, okay? Maybe one of the big alliances is talking about getting some of your people in, but they're only interested in taking the really big guys, okay? That can be a problem for your alliance dynamics. If it's possible that all of you move to the new alliance, that's great. But if they are cherry picking who can join and who can't join, that might make things a bit problematic. So you might need to sort that out beforehand. You also want to consider things like battlefield slots. All right. It's likely that the previous alliance had people that were joining battlefield on a regular. Now, if more people are coming in, more people that want to play battlefield, but with limited slots. So it's not a question of who gets to play and who doesn't get to play. So ideally, you'd want to cover those things before you hop right into any kind of situation like that. Also, this is an important one. You need to take some time to let the anxiety and the newness of a server merge wash away. Okay, It can take some time for things to settle down. Usually, when you have a merge, people are trying to get a feel for what's going on. Uh, the people that are usually in control of the server might have some disagreements when they are trying to come to grips with who is now in control of this new merge server. It happens that you might have some fighting going on like that, but give it a while, it usually settles down. Okay? Now, earlier on, I mentioned the fact that you might be faced with a situation where you lose rank after a server merge and like i said that is purely based on your prestige and how many points that you have usually from offering and other things now if you want to get your rank back you're basically gonna have to grind it out okay unfortunately there's no other way around it you will have to grind out the points that you need to push you back to the rank that you once had this can take time all right and you might want to make a long-term plan for that but if you're not particularly sure on how to go about it you can check out this video here it's a video where i talk about the best way of increasing your prestige points and based on the information on that video you can make a plan for you to get your rank back if you haven't seen it be sure to check it out that's it for me guys thank you very much aka signing out